Good evening everybody, welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. My name is Kevin, I am a geek, and you're watching Kevin a Geek. This is episode number... what are we on now? Uh, episode number 9 we're on at the moment. I've completely lost track of uh, who we are, where we are. It's been a couple of days. A couple of, uh, a couple of days. Uh, it has unfortunately been um, uh, a bit of a odd couple of days for me. Um, I've had a few birthday parties. Um, unfortunately, I sadly lost a, a, a family member. So, um, yeah, last couple of days it's been uh, a little bit uh, here, there and everywhere. But we're back. We're back playing another episode and this is episode number nine. Now, just before we get started, we are in the month of October. And I would like to try and get some uh, some thoughts from, from you guys about uh, some upcoming games. Uh, I'd like to do um, um, uh, a new game this month to tie in with the uh, the Halloween theme uh, that we have got at, um, at the moment. So, please, um, when you're watching this video, if you could drop a comment down below, uh, to let me know what you are thinking. I've got a couple of games that I have got um, saved on, on the old system. Um, I've got um, a game called Amnesia, which um, uh, is, is an older game, uh, which is apparently a bit of a horror game, uh, which I basically got that. That was one of the free games probably a couple of years ago, but I just never got around to playing it. Um, then, uh, of course, you have Until Dawn, um which is um yeah very very much a, a a horror game with with uh with that one um which i'm not sure if that is uh, a single player or if you can do multiplayer uh with that particular one um and then of course there is a game that was uh, the free game was it last month or the month before last uh, I can't remember which. That one I know is uh, possible to do as multiplayer. Obviously, I'm doing a, a multiplayer uh, stream at the moment with my friend Peter, um, which is, um, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's a, like a co-op uh, sort of uh, game there. So I, I don't know if you can do that with um, with Until Dawn. If you can, and that might be a good one to do with, uh, with my friend uh, Peter. Uh, but the other one, uh, uh, what was it called? Something like Men of Medan or something like that, uh, which that one definitely uh, is able to play one. So we've got a couple of games um, that I think would be quite fun to do as a, um, as a with a Halloween kind of theme with with this coming, uh, yeah, with a Halloween upcoming. So please drop a comment down below if you think any of those three would be a, a fun game to do as uh, as part of a stream. Um, yeah, I'd be really, really interested to know what, what you think might be good to do. Uh, but for now, we are going to crack right on. Apparently, Mr. Pearson oh, would like to speak to us. Will, me, tell you. So we're going to see what soon. he wants to do with us. Um, following on from that, um, I believe there's a couple of other missions that we can do. Um, I saw something that looked like a D. Oh, it's right down here. So we've got a couple of um, things here in Rhodes. So we can go see Dutch. Um, and then something to do with uh, Greys. Uh, the Greys. I'm not sure what, what is. I heard something about the Greys family. So we're going to have to have a look into that uh, very soon. But for now, we're going to see me, Mr. Pearson. You. you come near me, sailor, and I'll slash you up. You put that knife down or you're gonna be missing a hand later. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. <sighs> My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner. Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough! All right, here. Mr. Pearson, times have changed. Well, come with me then. Women can do all the Run things that men can there. do. Run with the man. So be it. 
Yeah. We do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Miss Zed are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Come on, Miss Adler. Come on with me then, woman. Are you coming in or not? Thank you. So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Hey, quit moaning. If we're going to post office, maybe we can pay off our bounty whilst we're there. Down then yet? I guess. Now, I ain't no scullion, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating half-wit. Well, I guess we all got to do our share, Princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Well, are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Here. Oh, fine, we'll hand it over. Dear Aunt Kathy, you are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, <laughs> so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah blah blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look, we're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All mail to be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Doesn't to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. Okay. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. How's your work? Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No, you Put that gun me. away, you idiot. I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. Exactly. You get on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? Yes! Um, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Mm-hmm. Howdy. Can I help you, mister? Yes, Alright, so we're gonna pay our like bounty first. Letter. All right. Yep, that's the word is down. Well, there it is. There we go. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. Well that was good that we was able to pay off the bounty at the same time. Sorry. Oh, yeah, that made our job a tiny bit easier because we're going to have to go and do that anyway at some point. We don't like having bounces on our heads. Whoa. You got changed, love. Fine morning today. Yeah, it is. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, That's give it. it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. 
Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. Okay. Yep. So, you get everything? I think so. And some uh, new clothes, I see. Mm -hmm. I thought they looked good. I can wear what I damn well want. Yes, you can. I think you look good. My husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Oh, cherry pie would be yeah, really good right about that. that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry. About what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. What, Just another husband? Treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Yeah. Please. Hey there. Hey. Howdy. Hey. What, uh, what you folks up to? Just howdy, Peter, and howdy to the man riding alongside of us. Keep it cool, you need to pay a toll to pass through here. I don't think you'll find that we do need to pay a, a bounty, a, a toll. So. How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Oh! oh. There we go. Oh, Someone ahead. Oh. Oh, maybe don't run him over, please. Oh, here we go. Damn it. He's getting away. Right, let's do a quick little loot. Got some revolver cartridges, very nice. Oh, inspect document. I'm let, writing to let you know our raids against the Jay Hawkers in Lawrence, Kansas have been successful. There are many times since we set out on this campaign that I doubted there was a god who loved us, but today I have a glimmer of hope. That they call us Lemoyne Raiders, Bushwhackers, and Border Ruffians does not diminish our fight for a free state and to be free from the incursions of Northerners set on changing our way of life. I hope you will continue to recruit more young men to the course here in Lemoyne. We will ride through their ranks and smite down the oppressors. History is not over and shall be rewritten. It is always darkest before the dawn. Sincerely, William Marcus Anderson. Okay. Interesting. Got some bitters. Oh, we've got a platinum band. Nice. Oh, we've already checked him. Only one more. 
What have you done so far in this episode? Uh, Peter, we have not done a lot. We've literally just started. Um, so, young Miss Adler here, or Sadie, she now likes to be known. She, uh, well, we've driven into town. We've, uh, she, she's got, she's, um, she has uh, got herself some new clothes. And then we've just been shut out by some raiders. And that's pretty much where you caught us up. So it is, uh, I mean, we've only, only been going about 15 minutes so far, so not a lot done. And then uh, we've got a situation where Dutch wants to meet us in Rhodes. And then, uh, and then apparently also, oops. Sorry. So who do they say they were? Lemoyne uh, Raiders? Oh, yeah, like uh, yeah, so we need to see a uh, Dutch in Rhodes and apparently something to do with the Greys. I don't know who the Greys are, but clearly they want us to look into something. We are going to have to wait and see. Anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of Bowles. Not a chance. Hey, you want me to drive? You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... Uh... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. And I'll tell you what, Miss Adler, you, you look you damn fine well, in those they outfits. They say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. Oh and God. Nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. Oh. <laughs> Me and Miss Arthur clearly got well, the, the same uh, kind of mindset there with Pearson. He just sounds like a bit of a misogynistic, cocky jerk you know, at times. Right, what shall we do? Should we go see the Greys or shall we go see Dutch? Do something a little bit different. Um, tell you what, let's go to the Greys. Uh, we've never been to them yet. This this will be uh, something new. Yeah. Why not see the Greys? We'll see what is up with those. Be something a little bit different, I think. Oh, nearly ran into a tree. Yeah. All right, can we get used to maybe trying to jump a fence? There we go. Just cross the field. Just don't mind me. How are you coping with the pace of the story? Are you bored yet? To be honest, I'm not actually bored yet. No. Um, it's... I think it, it seemed a bit slower when, of course, um, I was doing a bit more of the hunting and stuff. But I think now I've started just doing a little bit more of the, uh, the missions and things. It's so far relatively good pace. Um, obviously, you do have the odd ones where you just randomly meet someone when you're out and about and you suddenly have to do something. Um, which can kind of delay you a little bit when you're trying to get on to, to go to the next mission. But for the most part, no. It's, uh, I think, reasonably well balanced, I think. You think all this Lemoyne air is free? Yeah, there was a couple there that we've just ignored because I want to go and see what the 
or rather who the greys are, what what they are, and oh, am I going down here? Oh, Caliga Hall. Caliga Hall. Interesting. Oh, it's a big estate. This here the grey plantation. Yep. Caliga Hall. Whoa, okay, don't hold it. You're getting to it. Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Emmett Lee. Put your gun down, mate. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help you. Okay. Obliged. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. Who's this fine gentleman? Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Thank you, kind sir. By the wood store. Down here somewhere. Hello, Bo, where are you? Are you in here? Knock, knock. Nope. Nope. Not in there. Mr. Bo? Where are you, Sam? Ah! Would you be Bo by any chance? Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I That's guess. a nice attitude to have. We don't get a lot of traveling men here. And suddenly, there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I'm just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you Happy now. normal? Excuse me? Never mind. <laughs> Thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us. And really? The I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Who? Who? Penelope. Who's it's Penelope? Possible. Love oh, God, is she, a, is she one of these Braithwaites? She's a Braithwaite. Yeah. Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray. Uh oh, Lee this Gray, is a Sheriff, good old fashioned Romeo old and Juliet Bardo story, Gray. I believe. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, yeah. I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she. She's amazing. Is she she's now? Like a woman from the future. <gasps> she's like tomorrow. If tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. You're weirdly Would poetic. You I don't want to get involved in gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We grab My ears pick up of that. Money. No brains, mine, but money. Well, Money's case. good. I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Okay. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. How much are you giving me? Look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are. Oh, really? Why is my house all the way over there? I literally just ran through a, through a hedge. Yeah. Right. Oop, don't hit him. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to hit you. I'm very, very sorry. Please don't shoot me. I can still be polite. Hello. <laughs> Morning, sir. Yeah, sorry, sorry, I just ran into you with my horse there. Bye! <laughs> okay, so we're going to meet this uh, Penelope Braithwaite, and we need to apparently avoid the guards. Yeah. So the guards won't like us, apparently. Right. So where we gotta go? How how far we gotta travel? 
Um, oh, somewhere down here. This is a, a new unknown region that we've never been to before. Which is like, oops, let's get back off that. There we go. I'm traveling this direction. I like going to the new places in, in this. It, yeah, they, they all look so beautiful, you know? Yep. Hey! -ya! That's a lovely unit. Another house as well. Oh. Oh. No. I'm off. I'm off. We'll be quiet, have we? We're going to do sneaky sneaky. I like sneaky sneaky. Is that the gazebo down there? Let's go down by the river. Down by the river. Let's do a little run, run, run. Try not to get our boots wet. We're in our nice clothes today. Oh, oh, there's a guy. I think. Yeah. I was about to say I'll get my sniper rifle out just to make sure it's not him. But then he's... I've left it on the horse. Which is not a good thing. Or do we maybe swim for it and then go in the boat? Ooh, there's people over there. We're moving slowly. We're sneaky sneaky. Gonna hide behind here. You can't see me. I'm invisible. Ah, there's a gazebo. Right. He's looking the other way. So let's go, 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 Arthur. Run, run, run. That was fairly easy. Miss Braithwaite, hello. You're you a pretty damn fine thing. Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. I got a letter for and you. A gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not for like, me. No so. flirting, Penelope. Oh. You got another man. Oh, he is so strange. Well, yep. Yes, he's a little strange. That's a good word, Prim. Also, so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages, or. Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, Pounds I've had the have pleasure. I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are. I mean, uh, as far as you can go, you know, else. as being a snob, you a vicious snob is probably not a bad one to do. No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, yep. with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. Uh, well. I get what you mean. Maybe a bit. But here. If you see Bo again... Oh my god, he's time. Arthur now, just a glorified delivery man. I can't see where the people are. Not a man there. Let's take the boat. Let's take the boat.
Oh! Don't get him. Row, row, row your boat. Gently up the river. Slightly nice, easier way to do it, I think. Good boy. There we go. Done. That was a nice easy one. Okay, so what have we got now? So we can go see Dutch. We can go to Bo and give him the, uh, the letter again. Or, what's this? Molly O'Shea. Molly needs to speak to us. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's go see Dutch. Dutch's been waiting for us a little while. He deserves a hell. Let's see what our honourable leader would like us to, to do for him this time. Oh, that was a big jump there. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how anyone is, has uh, ever been able to work out the map uh, like this uh, in a nice easy way yet. I'll still literally look around what I'm travelling between town and town and just go, uh, yes! Oh shoot! I'm so sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! No! No, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I didn't mean to kill him! I, I'm sorry. I honestly did not mean to kill you. Oh, there's a guy. Let's get after him. Get after him. Yep. Come on, stop, stop! Right. Stop. Make me kill you. Whoop. Oh, bugger! Crap, crap! Oh, damn it! Get. Come here! Hey, stop! You best walk away right now! Go to hell! Oh! Oh. Alright, has anyone witnessed Amazing. that? Oh my god. Jesus. I can't believe I literally had to go and kill someone just by accidentally running into someone. Time to go, boy. Oh dear. Actually, while I'm here, as I've accidentally done that, is there anything here I can nick? I might as well, I've already killed a man. No. No, nothing. Yep. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. What am I doing today? I'm literally running in and killing everything. Oh my God. Uh, well, well, let's get some turkey meat. We've accidentally done that. <laughs> witness? Oh my God! Who's, whoa, whoa, whoa! Who's a witness for what? What for now? He 
Easy. What the hey! damnation? They is saw the this? dead body. Is this your work? Hey, you don't think I did this? I can't just let this slip by unreported. You stop right now, or you dead. Whoa! Yep. Uh, uh, um, mm, 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 mm. Lasso There's them, don't kill them, ha ha. Yeah. Come here! Can I only last time I'm on the horse? Oh god, I'm going to get a bounty now, ain't I? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, I need, I need to get better at riding horses. If I'm literally going to get stuff just by literally bumping into people. My god. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Howdy. Howdy to yourself, sir fella. Oh, we're meeting Dutch of the Sharers off face. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy Callahan? Boy is a killer. Oh, of course, yeah, he changed Arthur the name, didn't he? Met, but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sheriff Gray. Well, how are you doing, sir? Sheriff Enough Gray with the best, most Dude, damn fine no mustache I think I've ever seen. Me, in a video game or in real life. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's so we are honest stuff. men. We are Dude, honest and respectable don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies, you have uh, we know. amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers, good huh. honest thieves like us, we're bound to be moralized. Why would you say you're a thief like in front this. of someone else there? Oh, Sheriff Gray, here he is. Back. Now, listen, sir, there is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people are nice little boys break there. Temperance move. We're in safe hands. Never dull the good man's senses. <laughs> Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. I ride Come with the up. deputy. No, that's not right, that's... I just met the deputy. How are you? Now I'm Pretty gonna good. ride with the and deputy. Your is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Oh, now, Peter's following us. Sure good boy. Who's a good boy? A command here. There is. Dang straight, there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead, and you'll be just fine. Okay, there, Archibald. Hey, I love that name, Archibald. Archibald. To remind us he's in yeah, quite a few Archies these days. Kids like uh, people like Who to call their kids Archie, be? but you were a big help I think we we, boys, you know, we, we need to be a good old Archibald sometimes. We appreciate that. 
We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not mm -hmm. just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. Oh, God, here we go again. About the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old cotton I think I, I really feel like the, the, the maybe Rockstar just wanted to have a whole Romeo and Juliet thing in there, so they're literally doing now they're dealing the, the Greys and the Braithwaite, you know, the, 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 the Montagues and the Capulets, the, uh, the Jets and the Sharks, uh, you know, from, from West Side Story. From Grace, if they had any Grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Oh, Not tax dodgers, they're the, the worst. That Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses. I'd maintain. rather, but you know, disagree I with a tax dodger than, than a murderer any day of the week. These families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. Uh -huh. It happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. Hmm. I don't know what that's that like, but I'd love to know. Suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? Hmm. Oh. What we got over here? I see some dead bodies. I smell some flies. I swear they got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. Keep your eyes open. It looks like that he's oh, been there a while. This must have happened recently. Oh really? Hmm. Actually, yeah, he looks a bit fresher. Hey, come have a look at this. I'm here, I'm having look. a look. Suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. Uh it looks more like the eye than the forehead, but yeah. Handy work of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Hey, we've already yeah, taken a couple of them out. Them. Yeah. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Okay. We're getting back on the wagon? The life of a lawman, isn't it? Oh. I'm just glad we got Archibald here to show us the ropes. <laughs> Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Yeah, sure. sure. I'll direct you. Ride to the swamp. Yep. Okay, let's go to the swamp. Maybe let's go see Shrek. <laughs> Lemoyne State Legislator. Lemoyne Poor State Ford. Legislator. What the hell yes, is that one? Is that home? Yes, smacks of the Raiders to me. A bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. Go right at the crossroads. Okay. Yep. Not the nicest fellows in my experience. Oh, I can barely I see. The is that fog or is it just sunshine? No, easy. We Literally can't see. They're right again here. Trash begets Oops. trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. Drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny Hey, hey, not so fast! Oh, I'm slowing down. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now... Anyone we find here. All right. We bring in alive, understood? Round them up and take this operation down for good. Come on. Uh, there we go. Right. 
What we got in here? See? See? What did I tell you boys? What did I say? I Are we in Dagobah? Was crawling with we could have run into Yoda. We found ourselves the rat's nest, our excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. Oh, handle this. Well, the way I see Actually, it. let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words. But he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. Okay. You boys want right or left? Um, let's go left. We'll take the left. Let's stop. I'm not sure that, what that really means. Filthy degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea. Hush. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. See one by the bridge over there? Yeah, I can see him. Oh damn, I'm getting my boots all wet. Yeah, all right. I think I saw another one guarding the still. I'll get this feller trussed up. Dun, dun, where are you? Are you? Up the hill? Should just be one more, Arthur. Oh, yeah. There you are. We go sneaky, sneaky. We go creepy, creepy. And then... Knock it out, he. Oh! Can we just dump him in the river? He'll just drown, you know? Ah, uh, we're gonna carry him to the wagon. I just wanted to drown him in the river. In the swamp, rather. It would have been a more fitting way to go. Just drop him with the others. Okay. There you go. That it? That's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Destroy it. Boys can handle explosives. Sure. You're looking at the man for the job. So think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about that. That is the last time I'm. Plant some dynamite. Do do do. Dynamite. Is that it? Um, where do we put it? Just anywhere? Put it there. And then do we ignite it and then run? Oh, it's lit! Run, run, run! Oh! Bugger! <laughs> I realised very much like that. I, I'd apparently ignited that and I did not realize well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> alright that's thing two <laughs> Oop, run into a tree run 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 right right 
But it's not knit. Ignite. Right, it's going. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Oh. Hey. I think you heard that. Raiders, you sons of bitches. Did it. Shit. Oh, well. Run, 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 run. There's more coming up from those huts. Oh, yes. I love the headshot. Oh. There's someone else. Oh, where are you? Where are you? I can see you. There you go. Oh. Someone else coming to the left. Say your prayers now, you son of a bitch. Stop ducking. There we go. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Hello. There you go. Is that everyone? Oh, no. There we go. Anyone else? You want a piece of me? Do you? No. No, I don't think so. get out of here. Fine by me. I just want to... Do a little bit of uh, steely steely first, you know. I'd like some uh, some profits for my trouble. Anything? Yeah, well, why stop you jabbering? They've got some some plenty of goodies on them, and I want my goodies. A silver ring, nice. I mean, if there's anything left after those explosions, there was a lot of explosions. Another ring. I like their silver rings. Right. Yeah, they really like the silver rings. Guama rum. Nice. Not what it is, but it's it's rum. Silver pocket watch. Doesn't look like they have many very, very valuable uh, trinkets. Anyone gonna have any gold on them or platinum? Another silver. Rifle cartridges, I ain't got enough of them yet. Horse medicine. That could come in very, very handy if I keep running into things, which I've been seemingly done a, a lot of so far this episode. It's all silver. What have you got for me, me old beauty? Any more for any more? Oops, sorry, I just ran into you. Just kicked you. Why not? Last one. Go on, give me some gold or something. There we go, we got a gold one. Oh, have we got a dynamite? Nice. Back to Dutch. This way. Oh, we increased our stamina. Nice. Oop. Okie dokie. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> 
Forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Mm -hmm. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort Do of Do you job. know? But I better get back home. Why don't I just mm -hmm. take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are yeah. Americans. Of course. But my cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Only I didn't quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. I've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life move on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Hell yeah, we are. Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come yeah, on. go on, Bill. You ride with me. Okay. All right, Dutch. Hey, how about just take it to camp? I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always? From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, oh. though. Deputized. Oh, what the hell was that? In plain sight. These lawmen, these two families. Hang on, I've just seen hey, some really interesting things. Are they snakes time. or something? It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the young Dutch again. What do you mean? They are snakes. Dutch. I'm as strong as I have ever been. What did you stop for? I don't think that's necessary. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Oh, there's some turtles and things. Dutch, but I can't get off I the horse. Some other business to attend to. I think you're going the wrong way. <laughs> oh, you do, do you? You know you'll never outrun me and the. Right, I need to put a, a, a quick marker down. Oop, just clicked the wrong thing. So I want to. Uh, oh, get back off that. Stupid thing. I wanna, yeah, I wanna set a marker for this place. I wanna come back here. Uh, if there's like turtles and stuff like this. There we go. I'm gonna come back to this place at some point. Anyway, I'll see you later then. Stay out of trouble. Oh, is that it? Oh, okay, so I can go back there. After all that. There we go. Hey! Got a hook. That's not so you tend to find you get very often. Let's put that on the uh, on Peter, and let's see about these uh, turtles and snakes and things. Because this is uh, something a bit different. We've never seen these before. Perfect one, apparently. There we go. Come on. Damn it, it's gone in a hole. Right. 
Well, let's get this one. Poor snake skin, damn it. Uh, hang on. Peter, you're in the way. I can't pick up me uh me snake. This way. Come you on. stood on top of it. There we go. Now I can pick up my snake. Go. Let's get me arrows back. What is that? Hmm. And we've got a turtle. Seeing a little bit different. Ooh. Alligator snapping turtles. Can we put this on the horse as well? Nice. Alright, well let's go and give them back to camp. Or maybe we'll just hand them in at, at uh, in roads. We'll sell them to uh, to the butchers, and then we'll go and see uh, Penelope. Um, no, no, Bo, Bo that we need to go and see, isn't it? Can we not? Oh, we're gonna have to go the main way. Okay, not to worry. Let's go. Maybe if we go to roads, because maybe because they don't have turtles and snakes and stuff normally, maybe we'll get a bit more money for them. That's a, a good attempt. We'll see. I have to go back to the swamp at some time, I think. Random horse there. Who's that? Hey, better not have a problem with his friend. Well, what are you up to? Hey, get yourself out of there. What do you mean? Smart move. Don't overstep your boundaries. Hmm. Hey, he was robbing it before I even got a chance to try and rob it. Alright, let's go back to roads. Let's go and see if we can sell off our wares. And then we get to go and see uh, the brave, Bo Gray. If, if, if he tells me to go once more and go and deliver a letter, I'm not a swing for him, I tell you. I don't care how much you want to pay me. You know, I, your bloody postman, get an actual postman to go and deliver your post. You cheeky bugger. Damn, I can't see. Is this, is this just me or, or is this you? Is it really bright as well?
You cannot use weapons or cause trouble in Rose when you're acting as a deputy for Sheriff, Sheriff Gray. Okay. Well, I won't do that then. Oh, oh crap. Uh, I've just realized I've... Uh, oh, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. There we go. I'm free. I'm free. It's okay. Oh. oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm just climbing on you. We pay respect to the dead. Right. 25 cents. Is that it? For a snake? Okay. Yeah, get up that. Uh, yep, have that. Lucky, have that. So I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep that. Uh, you can have that. <laughs> Some bird meat. Uh, the trout. Oh! 425 for a trout. You can have all of those, my friends. Hawk carcass, 98 cents. Is that it? 50 cents for the, the snake. And 45 cents for a turtle. Jesus Christ, you stingy bugger. Real good doing business with you. Yep. Thank you for your custom. Okay, fella. All right, let's go see uh, Mr. Bo Gray. And then uh, I think we will call this episode a conclusion after that one. Yeah. I like the name, Mr. Mr. Bo Gray. Mr. Bo Gray. He's like Mr. Bo Jangle. Come back and then. And dance and dance, please dance. Yep. Uh, yeah, he's uh, he's with Stacy. I'm not gonna cause trouble in Caglia Hall. Remember me? I'm working for the Greys now. Thank you. Ah, oh, yes, sir. All right. Where are you, Mr. Gray? Ah, there you are. Oh, no, is that you? Hey there, partner. Oh, no, that's just Don't a gray, listen. not the gray. You in there? Oh, I can't jump the fence. Gotta run all the way round. Right. You got my money? Yep. Sure. Thanks. Do you have anything for me? Yes. Nope. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Well played, uh, Arthur. Oh, come on! Bother. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. Oh, my God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. Eh? What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Really? Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. Huh? But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Yeah. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Me to Rhodes. All right, I Come on. Yeah. We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Yeah. 
Are you going to tell us more about this whole family feud you got going on? Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. Oh, blimey. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm good point. Sure they know what they're doing. Is this there. it? There they are. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know oh, that. God. Do something, please. What? Fight this mob. Yeah, I don't want to get involved in that. Yeah. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hip, hip, hooray! Fine. I'll drive the wagon. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Uh, whatever you say. <clears throat> All right, ladies. <clears throat> We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food now, and we now. fetch the water. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the bank of roads, Mr. What was your name? Mr. Callahan or something? Oh, oh, you're giving your real name this time. Mr. Morgan, not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Uh, I don't think they'll not hear you. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I uh, don't know what movement you're on about. Mrs. Calhoun, maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Oh, do give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. Well, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Shut your mouth! What you doing? If only the women wanting to express their freedom of speech. And gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. equals. Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Yeah. 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 Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly old goat. <laughs> His philosophy dependent hey. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. It's oh, God. Ruin in the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always will. Bo, what's listening? We what we're listening to people. Who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. Or what? You'll hit me? Oh, come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? 
Come on, Bo. Let's go. Rick now. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. Come on, then. Battlefield no one goes to. Not the future. Come on, hurry up then, Bo. Where are you going? Come on. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me, everyone knows well, so about Penelope. It was all Penelope their concern. You. you were just listening to a bunch I know of people about yapping. Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. Yeah. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our family. Hey, excuse me, what about we? Weeks. I'm just a delivery we man. We bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She were right. You know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful! Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money, when my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Inheritance? Artistic temperament, so... Ah. Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank, Thank you. you. Excuse me. Well, not too bad for another day's work. Um, so, that's gonna do it for this episode. Um, now, obviously, I did mention right at the very start of this episode. Uh, so in case uh, any of you did happen to miss that, um, I'm thinking about doing some, some games with it being October, with it being Halloween month, maybe some horror, thrillery, I don't know, kind of games. Uh, I've got two games that I definitely could easily do. Um, I've got Until Dawn as a game, which I basically played the first level. I got that years ago. I never really did much with it, uh, but it seemed quite interesting. Uh, that's obviously a solo game. Uh, I've also got Amnesia, which is, uh, again, I got one one of the free games months and years ago. Uh, that could be an interesting one. And then finally, uh, there is a game that is more of a, I think you can play it solo, but then you can also play it as like a multiplayer um, game, which uh, for those of you who may not have seen, I'm currently playing a game with my buddy Peter. Uh, we're doing a, a game called A Way Out, which is a cooperative kind of story game. Apparently this man of Maiden, Maiden, how it's pronounced, uh, that can be done as cooperative as well, which I think might be quite fun, maybe different. So if you would like me to see me play any of those three games um, or a, a different, you know, maybe horror themed game, something like that, drop a comment uh, down, uh, down below. Let me know what you think. And uh, and I could definitely have a think about it for this uh, uh, for this month as we're in October for Halloween. Uh, but for now, that is it for another episode. Thank you very much for tuning live. Thank you very much for watching it back after the episode. But until next time, this has been episode nine of Red Dead Redemption. My name is Kevin. I am a geek, and you have been watching Kevin the Geek. Good night. Keep walking, and we'll keep just fine.